humanity is on a, a on a collision course with oblivion our way of living and the way we exist on earth today is parasitic you know we are living in an, we're living in a in a in a culture that continuously consumes and kills and takes from gaia gaia being the earth um, we do not return to the earth we do not give back we only take and that is what i believe i believe the humans are currently in a parasitic phase a bit like the caterpillar eating the leaf unaware of the fact that by consuming the leaf they may fall from the tree and and ultimately um you know become squished on the ground but i do firmly believe that human beings are capable of more than being just caterpillars more than being just parasites i think that we have within us the potential to be incredible creators and not destroyers that our our innate human humanity is uh, is one of uh, of beauty and compassion uh, but the darker side of us uh, comes is born out of this sort of this selfish society that continuously tells us that we're number one uh, and that nobody else matters that competition is the most important thing and that collaboration is you know is for the weak um you know we're talking you know the weak you know that what is it from the cloud atlas um the, the weak are meat and the strong must eat um you know we are you know it, it's it's an it's an insanity really then we don't realize how connected we are um, and, and what, it's my favorite book, The Cloud Atlas, and there's another line that goes, we're bound to others, past and present, and with every crime and each kindness, we birth our future. And, you know, this is something that I want to teach people within plant-based news, is that everything we do, everything that we buy, all the things that we are constantly acquiring, they have uh, a consequence. Uh, someone in some far-flung country made something that you've bought um, and has potentially been... Um, um, exploited for it a person or an animal or the land and that we must uh, learn to be more ethical beings we must learn to to think before we buy or eat or speak or anything like that so ultimately that is our, essentially what plant-based news is about it's about education it's about enlightening and raising the consciousness of of you know people and helping them understand that they have the power to change the world even if it is from their very small corner of of the earth